So we're, we're really entering a whole new phase. Power is the theme of every industrial revolution. I think we talked about yeah. that once, right? First was steam, second was AC, DC power, and combustion engine, powered flight. In between, we had the discovery of fission, fusion, and hydrogen. And then we had compute compute power by, you know, starting in, you know, in the 50s and 60s with with mainframes and which were the precursor for AI to uh, to the type of technology we're using today all the way through cloud and AI. So if you look at that, each one of those things is its own element of power. Now we're shifting the model and we're to, energy is now the number one limiting factor to how well we could produce and how large we could scale these data centers. And um, I think I think everything that you're doing right now and everything that you're forced to really understand, like it may be inevitable. You guys may be sitting on five gigs, now, you know, in the next few years, and 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 twenty, you know, forty percent of that is now nuclear because you have to put another plant online to accommodate the free cooling we could get up in that market and take advantage of because it's more economically efficient to run a data center in New Hampshire in the winter than it is and and in texas or arizona perhaps you know so there's so many things that are still emerging but th that's the thing is the soup's not done cooking yet right so like i hope that the state has the same agility every state we go to there's someone like you that's trying to figure out how to how to drive solutions right how do we like i think that we want to find a way to put more power plants online that aren't harming the environment right I mean, it has to be either that or we have to start conceding our lead in AI to China, who's going to overtake us in energy.